Now we've got Mia Craig representing Dundee. a very classical music choice there it was it was classical difficult to interpret when you're young isn't it as well mm. classical but double axle attempt unfortunately she fell over but good girl well done for that so her and her team have chosen to take that risk and put the double axle in at this and they wouldn't do it if she doesn't nail it most of the yeah. time so it's something she's quite comfortable with in, yeah. in practice mm -hmm. and it was worth putting it in there because yeah. it gives you access. So she'll get the base value for the single? It depends whether the back axle was backwards or not. Like right, okay. it was, yeah. So whether it's fully rotated or whether it isn't. So she might still get the base value for the double? If it, yeah, 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 or the single. So, and, and that's what they'll be looking at over there to see if they can reward her with a double or not. And that's why sometimes it takes a little bit longer, isn't it? Because yeah, they're it trying is, to yeah. decide which one it is. Yes. And then whether it's a, because obviously we have the deduction for the fall, but whether it's a how many minuses yes yeah. yeah or whether it's single and yeah so that base value is where we start that starting point isn't mm -hmm. it yeah mm -hmm. so Mir is another athlete in this category who's managed to attend the Tayside international event so she's getting that international experience Magnum Open Dundee Open Skate Edinburgh only one qualifying event but for Mir okay and you don't have to attend multiple qualifying no, events, do you? To be fair, you quali your first event you could qualify and go, mm. I'm done now. 
done. But I think it's it's great. It's to try and do as many as you can fit into that season. Because they're always here, aren't they? So it gives you a chance to to do that competition in this particular environment of this particular. Yeah, rink. yeah. So 48.59 for Mia today, bringing her to a total competition score of 76.51, which brings her, I believe, into sixth place. So we're now into our final two competitors. So these are our skaters that qualified first and second. So Elisa qualified.